Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? I hope you're, you're home and nice and healthy. I miss you all very much. Today, we're going to be working on another sensory project. Okay? Are you excited? Yeah? Okay. So today, we're going to be making something very special that I'm sure you've all heard of and played with. We're gonna be making Play-Doh, okay? But this Play-Doh, we're gonna make it with only two ingredients, okay? One, two. Only two things needed to make this Play-Doh, all right? Raise your hand if you're ready. <gasps> Me too. All right, so friends, um, this is gonna get a little bit messy, okay? So parents feel free that our parents are, the, Feel free to have your friend wearing something that you don't mind them getting messy in. All right? Well done. Also, we are going to do something very important before we start our project. Are you ready? Yes? Okay. So, we need to do something very special and important with our hands. What could that be? Do we snap our fingers? No, that's not what we need to do. Do we need to clap before we start making our Play-Doh? No. Hmm. Should we wash our hands before making our Play-Doh? Oh, that's right, friends. Let's wash our hands before we work on making our Play-Doh. Ready? Okay, I already washed mine. Can you go wash yours now? I'll wait for you, okay? All right, and you know what? Let's sing happy birthday while you wash your hands. Ready? Can you sing with me? All right, ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my friends. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Well done, my friend. All right. Now that you washed your hands, hmm, can you tell me how you washed them? What did you use? Did you use water? Oh, you did, wow, okay. Did you use soap? Oh, you did? Did you make lots of bubbles? Wow, that's amazing. And did you get all the bubbles off your hands? Oh my goodness, you did, whoa. And did you dry your hands? You did that too? Oh my goodness, you did it all. Well done, my friend. High five. Well done. All right. So I'm going to show you guys some of the Play-Doh I made earlier. This is what we're going to make today. See? It's our Play-Doh that I use, that I made with the cornstarch and the hair conditioner. And this feels very, very soft. The hair conditioner helps the Play-Doh become so soft between your fingers. So I think this is a great alternative to make Play-Doh as well because it just feels so nice and soft. There we go. And also, I made my plate of white, but you can feel free to add some color into it as well. You can add some food coloring or some liquid water colors and mix it all in. Just like that. All right. So we're gonna put this to the side and we're gonna make our own Play-Doh. Are you ready? 
Yes? Okay. So let's clean our table. Let's make it nice and clean for our ingredients, okay? There we go. All done. Okay, now that you have a nice, clean, flat surface, I'm going to put my cornstarch down. Put it all on the table. a little more it all depends on how much you want to make all right so now that we have our cornstarch ready can you feel it can you touch it <gasps> friend how does that feel does it feel hard no so how does it feel Feels quite soft, right? Feels nice and powdery. And friends, what color is it? Is it black? No. Hmm. What color could it be? Did you say white? Yeah, that's right. Our cornstarch is white. That's very true. All right. Now that we have our cornstarch ready, who remembers our second ingredient? Number two. We have our cornstarch. What's next? Hmm. Could it be water? No. How about salt? Okay, not that either. Hmm. Could it be this? Could it be the hair conditioner? Yeah, that's right, my friends. We need hair conditioner. All right. And, front and parents, feel free to add the conditioner to a separate bowl as well as your cornstarch. And you can have your friend transfer everything onto the table using a spoon. All right. And I'm going to start putting some hair conditioner until I get the consistency and texture that I want, okay? So this recipe doesn't have a right or wrong um, recipe. It doesn't have a, a recipe at all, actually. You can really make it however you like, your preference. Um, if you want your plato to be a little bit um, drier and a little bit more crumbly, then you would add more cornstarch. But if you want it a little bit softer, um, you can add more conditioner to it. Just um, know that if it does feel too sticky, um, you can add more cornstarch to dry it out too. All right, friends, so we're going to start mixing. Mixing it all together. Okay. And it's still very powdery. So you know what? We're going to add some more hair conditioner. All right. I'm going to mix it with my fingers again. Squeeze it between my hands. And it's starting to get clumped together. You see that? Wow. But you know what? Ms. Donna feels like it's just still a little too powdery for her. So she's going to add a little bit more conditioner onto our Play-Doh. I'm gonna mix it some more with my fingers. And like I said, um, it all just depends on your preference. So don't feel like you're making 
this wrong. There really is no right or wrong recipe to making this Play-Doh. And see, the more you knead it, the more it starts to shape. Seems to need a little bit more conditioner, so we're gonna add a little bit more. Mix it all together. I think it's a little bit easier doing it with your hands, even though it gets messy. Um, I feel like it's just a lot easier to do it this way um, rather than doing it with a spoon. And it also helps your friend. Um, get messy and have fun, right? So they enjoy themselves. All right. And see, if you don't add as much conditioner, it's just a little bit crumbly. And I wanna get this texture, this nice and soft texture. So to do that, I'm gonna add some more conditioner. And I'm just going to keep kneading it until I get that. Like so. And feel free to add some glitter to your plate room. Um. You can feel free to also add some color to it. You can add food coloring to, to um, make it any color your friend would like. You can even use some um, sequins to put in. Anything you like. All right. And as you can see, we're starting to get our Play-Doh nice and formed and as you keep kneading it you'll notice that it gets starts getting so soft it feels very very soft between your fingers so i think it's a great alternative for um our regular usual play as well because it feels so nice it's the nice sensory feel it's a nice sensory project for our friends There we go. And as you keep kneading it, it's just gonna keep getting softer and softer. See? Starting to shape up. The right consistency I like. There we go. And also, Remember, if you don't have um, hair conditioner, you can also feel free to use lotion. It works as well. Um, it might not feel as um, soft as the hair conditioner, but it's also a great alternative. It still works. So feel free to do that too. All right, my friends. How did your Play-Doh come out? Is it nice and soft? Yes? Wow. All right, so I'm gonna set my Play-Doh to the side for the meantime, and I'm gonna clean my hands. Can you clean your hands too? Yes. All right, can you actually go wash your hands? Yeah, because they're, they're a little sticky right now, right? Should we sing happy birthday together while you go wash your hands? Yeah? That way you can have nice clean hands before you play with your Play-Doh. Isn't that fun? All right, ready? Let's sing together, ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Well done, my friends. Did you wash your hands nice and... Yes, are they nice and clean? Wow, well done. All right. You know what? I'm going to also clean my table before I start to play with my Play-Doh. And that's the good thing about this project, too, is the cleanup is also really, really easy. There we go. All right. All done. Here's my Play-Doh. And it's so soft. That's why I love this, uh, making this, this Play-Doh. It's very easy to make. It's only two ingredients. And it feels so soft. It, it does feel softer than your regular um, type Play-Doh. It's a great alternative. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't have any color to add into my Play-Doh, but feel free to do so. You can add any color your friend likes and make it super fun by adding some glitter or some sequins into our Play-Doh. All right, there you have it. Our two ingredient Play-Doh with cornstarch and hair conditioner or lotion if you don't have hair conditioner and that's it i hope you had fun and i hope you enjoyed my video take care stay healthy bye bye